Roseburg. It's Saturday, April 17th. Stay tuned for your weekly updates. everyone thank you so much for joining me again gabe harrell with living umqua and i'm here with your roseburg and southern oregon weekly updates first up today fire crews in azalea had to battle a fire due to a out of control debris burn so uh, if you are doing some debris burns hey it's springtime start cleaning up the yard start cutting back those bushes and everything just make sure with those super dry conditions that you are being careful doing any kind of burns right now. Um, especially with all of the, you know, red flag conditions everywhere. So just a friendly reminder, be careful with your debris burns. Uh, you don't want anything to get out of control and for that to cause bigger problems. Fire danger is usually high right now and currently we do have a red flag warning so be very careful camping, um, debris pile like we just talked about, anything else uh, anytime you're burning outdoors right now just be very careful make sure you're you're controlling it and you have extinguishers and you're putting everything out when you're done with your burns. Some great news this week for the Peace at Home Advocacy Center. So this week they were able to finalize the purchase on a 20 unit hotel room. They're going to be able to put up uh, victims of domestic violence as well as victims of the Archie Creek fire uh, up in those rooms. Not releasing the name of the hotel because of course we do want to protect those uh, the victims, especially the ones from the domestic violence. I will put the link down below in case you want to learn more about that. Speaking of volunteer opportunities, uh, Meals on Wheels, or known locally as Friendly Kitchen, you could call them either or, they are looking for volunteers right now. You can go right to their website and click right online and submit everything online to volunteer right there or to donate. I'm gonna put that link down below as well. Please, if you have the time or you're able to make donations, uh, do what you can because that is a fantastic programs for some of our seniors that really need, uh, really need those meals. So some exciting business stuff, Pegasus Equestrian. If you have not heard about this, I recommend you do some research. I will post a link on Pegasus below. They are wanting to take, I believe it's almost 3000 acres around Metz Hill and turn it into a giant professional equestrian center. And that would just be great for the local area. Uh, the here Their hearing on getting some of that stuff approved uh, did get pushed out 30 days to May 20th. Um, and so that is just really exciting. We're hoping everything works out for you guys there at Pegasus. Well, I will be rooting for you. I'm sure the town will be rooting for you. Good luck on that. Speaking of hot weather and the conditions that are coming here. Don't forget y'all, please, please, please do not leave your pets inside of a hot car, like that cute little doggy there. Uh, it gets very hot inside of those cabs, so please, please just leave the pets at home in the air conditioning or find some other kind of situation, uh, anything but leaving them in that, in that uh, super hot car. Uh, and the same obviously would go for our little ones as well, right? So just beware. Temperatures heating up, uh, and so just be aware of that. An interesting bust this week happened at Walmart when a pair of, uh, well, I call them kids, they were 19, 18, 19, 20, something like that, were using, trying to use counterfeit money to purchase guns from an undercover cop. Uh, when they got busted, they got busted with several counterfeit $100 bills. Uh, and some weapons, they, and they got some other charges for theft and everything. So I'm just gonna say, RPD, thank you so much for going out there and doing a bang up job. Who knows what these guys were gonna do um, 
with weapons bought with counterfeit money. So thank you so much, RPD, for another great bust. Uh, keep it up. Our local housing update, since, you know, I am a realtor and I do like to share that information with y'all because I figure that's part of the reason why you tune in. Roseburg, still a crazy seller's market. Prices are on the rise uh, and buying is very competitive. So if you are looking into buying, please reach out to me. I'm more than happy to help you uh, with the ins and outs of what's going on in the market right now. And if you're thinking of listing your home, reach out to me as well. I have some great pointers I can give to you, whether you'd like to list with a realtor or whether you're going to try for sale by owner. Um, I have a ton of great information I can share with you. No obligation or anything like that. So Roseburg, if you're thinking of moving, buying, selling, maybe getting a rental unit, please reach out to me. I'm more than happy to help. All right, y'all, thank you for tuning in for another week of updates here in Roseburg in Southern Oregon. Thank you for watching Living Umpqua. I'm so happy you joined us today to get some more information about the local area. Please, if you have any questions, feel free to email, text, phone call, whatever's easiest for you. Leave a comment in the comment section. I'm more than happy to respond with any questions you may have about the local area. As please like and subscribe to the channel, right? I really appreciate it. And uh, that helps my videos get out to more people that are interested in what's going on in Roseburg. Thanks again for watching everyone. Have a fantastic rest of your weekend.